Macrex is the top worldwide choice for indexing professionals. It provides a comprehensive platform for creating indexes. Its features include extensive time-saving options throughout and absolute control over the final index. Hello, I'm Domi Stauber and I'm here to help you with mastering Macrex. In this video, I'd like to talk about some basic elements of the Macrex environment. So, where are your hands while you're using Macrex? Most operations in Macrex can be done in several different ways, with a function key combination, with a keyboard shortcut, or sometimes with the mouse. Keyboard shortcuts use letter keys, combined with the Control, Alt, or Shift key. Choosing keyboard shortcuts whenever possible will keep your hands close to the home keys, make typing faster, and reduce the hand strain accumulated from thousands of small reaches to the function key row. I recommend that you start out learning this alternative from the start. Okay, <clears throat> there are two basic modes in Macrex, Inspect Edit mode and Add mode. You will be switching back and forth between these modes constantly and easily. And in these videos, I'll be referencing them as I talk about various Macrex tools. So here we are in an index. Notice the ready prompt at the bottom. This shows that we're in inspect edit mode, or IE mode. You type here to search the index. So I'm going to type B-R-I-T, and I'm going to press Enter. And you can see that the entries beginning with that string, or British, appear at the top of the page. To go from Inspect Edit Mode to Add Mode, use Control B or F4. This is Add Mode. It has a numbered prompt, the number of the index entry. This is where you add a new entry. So let's type an entry. There's my main heading and a comma separates the main heading from the subheading. There's my subheading, another comma, and a locator. Notice that I do not have to type the space before the locator. Macrex does that for me. Pressing Enter puts it into the index. And notice that it goes into the index right where it belongs under domestic workers. Um, this is a setting called Track Added Entries that uh, means that you can watch the index growing right in front of you. And you can deselect it, but I always work with this selection on. So to get back to Inspect Edit Mode from Add Mode, use Control Q or F1. Another Control Q takes you back to the main menu. When you're on the main menu, if you press I, you can see it there in the little drop-down menu up here, you will start in Inspect Edit Mode. If you press E, right there, you will start in Add Mode. Which mode you want to start in will depend on whether you're planning to start by searching or by creating a new entry. Okay. Next, I want to review the logical previous entry. This is used in a lot of different ways, so it's good to understand. It's one of the two top lines of the index, and it shows up in a different color in Add Mode. See the top line where it's a darker gray? That's the logical previous entry. Because we just switched to Add Mode from Inspect Edit Mode, it is the top entry. After you add an entry, let's make a new entry and I'm pressing enter. The logical previous entry is now the second line from the top. That is so that you can see the entries both before and after it. Now until I exit add mode, the logical previous entry will continue to be that second line from the top. The reason it's called the logical previous entry is that it's the entry that you just added and you can now make related entries using it. We'll talk about methods for duplicating parts of this entry in a later video. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next Mastering Macrex video.